Hello! Today we'll be working with Geometry Sketchpad. We're going to learn a few of the basics of Sketchpad while constructing a circumcenter and a circumcircle. The goals are as follows. Let's begin! The first thing that we need to do is create a new page within our document. We do this by going to File, Document Options, Add Page. You can either add a blank page or a duplicate. I could duplicate my first page, or if I have another document open, I could duplicate a page from that. Let's start with a blank page. If we want to rename the page, we can do so in the Page Name section. Let's name it Circumcenter. OK. Now we're on our new page. One of the first things we want to do is construct a segment. We go over to our toolbar, and we click on the Segment tool. From this tool, we can construct a segment, array, or a line. Let's construct a segment. We start at one point and click where we want the segment to end. Now if we go back up to our cursor tool, we can click on the segment and change its display. If we want the line style to be different, we go to Display, Line Style. You can make it thin. or you could even make it dashed. Let's stick with the normal display. All right, now let's finish our triangle so that we can create our circumcenter. When we move our cursor over one of the vertices, it will highlight it. Thus we know our segment will start right at this vertex and we can end it at the other highlighted vertex. Now we go back up to our cursor. Let's say that we wanted to name our vertices. We go down to the text box and click on our vertex. We can do this for each of our vertices. Now that we have our vertices, we need to find our midpoints. We do this by selecting a segment, going up to our menu and construct midpoint. That will construct our midpoint. To deselect this midpoint, we can click anywhere in the white space. We can create midpoints of two lines at the same time by clicking on both segments, going to Construct, and constructing both midpoints. Now we want to construct a perpendicular line to segment AB. If we want the perpendicular bisector, we select the midpoint and line AB, go up to Construct, and construct perpendicular line. This will give us our perpendicular bisector of segment AB. We do the same for sides AC and BC. If we want to find the point where all three of the perpendiculars intersect, called the circumcenter, we click on our point tool and we find where the red lines are both highlighted. This will give us our intersection. We click to construct a point. Go back up to the cursor and click in the white space. Let's name our circumcenter O. We can change this from D by double clicking on the D and simply typing in O in the label box. Let's hit OK. There are two different ways to construct a circle within Geometer Sketchpad. Let's say that we wanted a circle centered at O with radius AO. We construct this the first way called circle by center by point. If we click on O and A, because OA is our radius, we can go up to construct circle by center by point. Another way to do this would be to construct a segment from A to O, giving us our radius. Then we could click on the center O and the radius AO and go up to construct circle by center by radius. This will give us our circumcircle. Next, we will deal with our action buttons. If we want there to be a hide show button for specific lines, let's say our perpendicular bisectors, we would click on each of our perpendicular bisectors, go up to Edit, Action Buttons, Hide Show. This new box that appears says Hide Perpendicular Lines. When we click this box, the perpendicular lines disappear. When we click it again, they reappear. If we don't like the text that Geometer Sketchpad has displayed for us, we can click in the white space, 
click on the colored edge of the text box, go to Edit, Properties, and in this label section, we can change what the label says. Let's change it to Hide Perpendicular Bisectors. Let's get our text right. All right, and click OK. See, still works. I hope you all have enjoyed the tutorial. Have a good day.